Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 21 October 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior writer Cameron Mackay writes that South Africa is falling short of its exploration target amid the glacial cadaster progress. South Africa's mineral potential is not in doubt, but there is widespread frustration at the slow pace at which the country is moving to ensure that the framework is in place to allow for a genuine assault on the country's stated goal of attracting 5% of global exploration expenditure in the near term. The engineering news features focus on water engineering and infrastructure, where millions has been injected into water technologies over the past seven years and packaging, labelling and barcoding, where a new inventory system has been tailored for South Africa. The Mining Weekly features focus on explosives and blasting, where real-time tailoring of explosive energy is now a reality. And exploration, where an explorer reaches its campaign drilling goal. This week's business leader is Martin Masitise, founder and CEO of Mutla Leafy Engineering. And in this week's cartoon, even the most determined proponent of state-owned companies and their supposed developmental role will have a hard time proving their case when it comes to ESCOM and Transnet. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.